hello friends welcome to my channel this is Charan in this video I will show you how to add the date picker in ASP.NET text box using jQuery and bootstrap right now I am in the source code of ASP.NET in this source code page contains some bootstrap max CDN links and as well as jQuery links and these links are compulsory when we want to add the bootstrap or jQuery after adding these links the next thing is I have a header tags h1 and h2 let's build the solution and we will check the output on the browser and here is the output of that page which contains a simple header tags now let's start the coding part I am adding div class in the div class I am using the bootstrap classes so column medium devices for Adding date range div class input group date span class input group add on Within the span element, I am using glyph icon of bootstrap, glyph icon, glyph icon calendar, calendar, and close a span. Paragraph. In this paragraph, I am adding the text box. The text box ID I am giving text start date run at server font bold true CSS class form hyphen control class and this text box read only true and the text start date I'm adding the style also with 100% copy this I am adding the end date also the second box text end date only I am changing the text value only end date let's build the solution and we'll check the output on the browser I'm refreshing the browser and here it is the designing part is a glyph icon from the bootstrap the text box one start it and text box to end it now my aim is when I click the text box I want to get the calendar to choose the date start date and as well as the end date let's flip back to the coding part now about the due tag I'm creating a script type text JavaScript dollar function colon dollar between the double quotes hash percentage is equals to here I'm adding the text box one ID which is a text start date txt short start date and I'm adding the property client ID dot date picker Mm -hmm. 
max date new date class date format here I'm using the date format capital M and small yy and notice here in the date format I have mentioned the capital M so the date format will be the month will display the first three characters of the month for example if it's a January J A N if it's a March M A R so this month is the August it will display A U G after that uh, number of months column 1 on select creating a function selector variable starting date new date capital D selector sd dot set date and the set date sd dot get date method plus one dollar between the double quotes hash percentage is equals to now here I'm giving the ID of the text and date dot client ID capital ID dot date picker method which takes three parameters the first option and the first one is a option minimum date and the variable SD variable yes, yeah. this script is for the text box one copy it and paste here instead of text.date add the end date here which is a text end date idea and text.date make it as a start date here max date instead of plus minus one and sd ending date ed ed and uh, here also ed variables that's it let's build a solution build succeeded now it's time to check the final output on the browser now I'm reloading the browser click start date and today is the date 7th there's a reason after 7th all the dates are the disabled so I am choosing the August 3rd and notice the date format and the end date the end date is always must be greater than the starting date so I'm choosing 4th 3rd and 4th 6th that's it if you like this video please leave your valuable comment share this video and please subscribe my channel catch you on my upcoming videos